welcome to another Gumbo's Flying Circus live stream. Some say he is the pinnacle of modern virtual aviation flying. <laughs> But what does they know? So sit back, relax, slurp a drink and grab some popcorn. And only your popcorn. Here's the virtual pilot everyone loves. It's Gumbo. Well, good morning and uh, welcome to another live stream on this uh, wonderful Saturday morning. It's half past eight and uh, I was going to stream last night, but I fell asleep. Uh, I woke up at midnight and then uh, a couple of hours later fell asleep again and got up early this morning. So I thought I'd build um, a stream this morning and today uh, build a Harrier mission. Now my idea is to use this as a practice training kind of mission uh, just for the Harrier so I can get in and uh, keep the skills up and, and practice uh, with my number one. So the idea of that is I'm going to put multiple targets in different areas um, for different things. So some SAM, some ground attack vehicles, uh, put some air to air over it, put some, uh, have an airfield packed with stuff, put an SA-10 somewhere, put some SA-8s, SA-6, and all that kind of good stuff in the mission so that you can just choose a select target type if you like and just fly to it and destroy it, so it's for one or more people, um, so I thought that would be a good idea. I'm just going to get into the mission editor and uh, I'm going to do it on caucuses just for the fun of it really. Let's choose that one there. And I'll just turn this packing music right down. So I can hear myself think. go. So I'm going to put it up north I think. Never as I can go there. Don't really need the bullseye but I'll put one in anyway. Yeah so I'm going to put some Harriers on carriers and then use these here to put multiple targets in and around just so uh, I can have a practice and anyone else that wants to join in can have a practice as well with the Harrier. So I'm going to select Novo to start with. And that could be a red base I think. So add supplies to the front of it. Right. So I'm going to build up a few air defences. Some lesser ones and some harder ones further away, and some targets on each one. So, what I want to add is ground units, Russian, and some air defenses. So, let's dot a few of these around. Before I do that, oh no, that's fine. Just dot these around the airfield. Should have done that one first, really, shouldn't I? Behave yourself. Well, that one can go there. I'll always put these back. That 
creates a little nest of defense when you're down low and running in, they might be firing at you. <clears throat> So each one's got to be facing a different way. Uh, I don't want players to be able to drive these. I'll face that way. So obviously you need to uh, create some rules for these, so I'm going to just put in a few basics just to get them firing. A weapon free. Alarm state red. I don't need to gauge their weapons. Um, G23 number one. Oh, let's just call that Novo. Oh, save as. Oh, Harrier ground. Attack one. Okay. Just guys have a problem. Best to save it every so often. Right, so there are those in. Air defense. Um, Russia. Now, there's no S. I'm not going to put an SA-10 on here, but let's put some. Go with SA-6. Group. I'll give them some a few little commands here. Yeah, red. Save. So that's building up. another one of those units down here I think but this is a launcher as well do is that you can practice in the Harrier and just attack different points with different targets on 
for a good practice. So either, either as a single or as a group of you can go in and have a go. But you need something to be able to practice with. Right, that's that one, that's that one. Excellent. File save. That's got a nice ring of air defences around it now. So a triple A, two SA six. We'll put an SA eight in there. And that'll be that for this field. Oh, Russia. We'll put some ground targets on there in a minute. I'm an SA8. Slap bang in the middle. Save that. Right, let's put some uh, things to destroy on there. So the idea is, you know, you got get through the air defences and then you start attacking ground targets. We can practice J dam, side arms, guns, dumb bombs, GBUs, you know, whatever, whatever it is that takes you fancy at the time. Oh, look at all that there, that's a lot of fuel, isn't it? Right. Let's see, we've got some roads around, so let's put... Um, I'm going to put static, not moving objects around this um, armour. Some of these on the road. Just sitting there, just so there's some targets there to bomb. A little convoy. Some effort to put something in there, I suppose. Save that. I'm not sure if that's all forest or that'll be a clearing. I'll just put some there anyway. Yeah, let's put some tanks in. To one to make it um, not 
that'll make it winter on the map. One, two, three, four, five. And they're on the road. ROE weapon free. Disperse under fire. Arm state red. Couple of convoys. Let's put some static objects in. Oh, it's crashed. Oh, I love DCS sometimes. Did I save that? Oh, I'll have to reload him. It's the first crash I've had in the editor. Hopefully 2.5.6 will uh, alleviate some of that. I might have to put those ones in again. I'm not sure if I saved it. Just reload back in. Uh, mission editor. Mission. Oh yeah, I did save it. Okay, that's good. See, that's why it's a good idea to save after everything. Come on, let's choose some static objects, see if it's over here. There we go. Alright, Russian uh, helicopters. What have we got here? Put them there, maybe. I think. Oh, what have we got? Yeah, put some MI24s in. The good thing as well, press this little button down here and you can actually see it. Twenty-four. Oh, save. Helicopters in that. Put a couple of jets in. have um, different types of target at the field, just a bit of variation really. Um, Russian I want. Some MiG-23 sat on there. Oh, 
I've been uh, changing the description. Oh. Meg 23. I believe these are all destructible. Make 29s, put a couple of those in that are sitting there as well. Oh, oh, save. There we go. Let's get rid of that SRS save for mate. There we go. Put another one of those in. Twenty nine S. So there's a few aircraft on there, a couple of helicopters and that just for targets. I think you can blow these up, these static objects when you put them in. So if you, you know, just for target practice in a few areas, it's good. Right, let's put some more ground units in. Um, what have we got here? Put that down and have a look. Put a couple of bunkers in. Stuff, uh, four. Russian in it. I'll just put some more vehicles in there, and that should do for this airfield. Russian. Yeah. 
EMP1 Novo. state there so there's some air def a few air defenses on that one so we've got two SA6 and SA8 we've got some AAA we've got some vehicles around dotted around and some static targets and some other vehicles and a few bunkers so that's a, enough targets there to how to have a practice with on that one so I want to use this one up here now I'm hoping that's far enough away to stick an SA-10 on without it conflicting with this I'm, I'm, it might not be because that range ring is going to be huge for the SA-10 oh well let's uh, put it on and see Not sure how far you can spread the units of an SA-10. It'd be nice to dot them all around, you know. Might have to try. So that it's a little bit harder to destroy it. Uh, let's see. I need to get up the uh, units. I need to put up. I'll just put it there for now. Right, so we need one, two, three, four. Four units plus some launches, probably four. So that's eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we keep that one, that's number one. So two. We need the clamshell, which is the 5N66M. We then need uh, the Big Bird Radar 64H6E. We then need uh, the tracking radar, uh, which is 30N6. And then we need some launches, which are the 5P85 sealed Ds. Fire them. Fire them. Fire them. Right, let's have a look at that rain tree. Yeah, that's pretty huge. If we moved it to Makeup, let's try that. Right, 
let's put that there and have a look. It's just outside. So that should be enough because that, that area there is just around here is pretty big. So it doesn't launch on you when you're in this area. You can get away with that. I'm sure put it is so cheap. No, I'll put it here. It's... And then we can always go in and have a look and if it's a problem and change it. Put some objects in the way. Right, save that. Now I want this one to be difficult, and obviously, you know, on its own. Fair enough, but I know it to be protected somewhat. Oh, just turn that off. So, protection for these. Um, Russian is an F SA fifteen. These things fire back. Let's see if that's enough. So anything you launch, this thing will try and shoot it down. That Sam in there protecting this big one. I'm going to put an SA8 in there. I want this to be quite hard to do because even if you get shot down a million times, um, you've got to work out a way to destroy it and get in there with Harriers and it just pushes you a bit. Sticking this A8 in there as well, I think. Let's 
saying that. Two defending this nice big one. If there's a better way to do aircraft, let's see if um, we we'll put some of these in but make them uncontrolled. Then we can put in a few at a time. Uh, let's have a look, see what we've got. If I put uncontrolled, there's no pilot in him. I won't give him any waypoints either. IL-78. Just in case those static ones aren't destroyable. And we can just add... should be facing the right way when when you load it in Sevens. Three, four. Uh, take off and run. Oh, we did put those. Oh, okay, this one. Uncontrolled. Some over here if it cares. If I put it, that'd do, wouldn't it? Alright, let's put some AAA in on this one. Air defense, Russian. Put an emplacement. Two, three, four, five. Complete edit.
that. So that one needs to be pointing that way. Pointing that way. Two, put in there. One needs to go over this way. U23 Ah, morning, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, I'm just making a Harrier mission type of um, map so that you can get in and have a practice. I'm going to put like um, a few flights of Harriers in so like one or more people can just go in there and practice. So I'm putting different amounts of armament on different airfields at the moment uh, with multiple targets so you can practice with all the different weapons. So you've got sidearms obviously, Mavericks, stun bombs, all that good stuff. So you can go on multiple runs just to try and attack. Um, SA-10, SA-6, SA-8, AAA emplacement, static objects, aircraft, um, vehicles, all that good stuff. So it's like a practice mission. Or you can run it as a normal mission, you know, and just get a few Harrier pilots in and see how much destruction you can cause. <laughs> So let's put in some uh, vehicles. Yeah, launching from the boat, I'm going to put a uh, couple of tarawas in. And then I'm going to put some at an airfield as well. So maybe you have um, like three flights of four. So, you know, there's enough there to choose from for multiple people or if you're on your own, you know. Um, so there's a few options there. I was thinking about putting some on a fart, but I thought that might not be the best idea. Not if you want to take weapons. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, let's put some bunkers on here as well, just for some extra targets. Uh, fortification. Bunker one. Oh, 
better change those to Russian. Well, that one I want pointing this way. I want these targets to fire back. Oh, so, so it's a case of if you can beat the SAMs, you can then get in and destroy the AAA and a few vehicles. There's some bunkers on here. And then destroy anything else you want, you know, some of the fuel stuff over here. <clears throat> and the store stuff or, you know, bomb the runway, whatever takes your fancy really, but there's a few things there to keep you entertained for a while. I'm wondering if I should move some of that over to here, but that'll have to do. We'll change him to red. Change him to red. Red. Good also can be the blue field. that it's a bit too close. I didn't know you could make them with supplies. No, I don't want to do that. Blue. Add. We'll put some boats here. That's quite far, isn't it? Maybe put the boat here. And the second Gulf War, the Harrier launched from the boat about 100 plus miles away at the start of the day, but always returned to a far up that was about 50 miles away from the front line. Harrier then returned to the boat for a cup. A moonshot, well they were American. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea actually. Um, yeah, I kind of like that idea. So you could say that's your front line there. I like that idea actually. Let's give some options then. So let's put some of these uh, Harriers in here. I'm going to create some more targets somewhere. Maybe 8B. I 
should check that before I put the four in, really. Fine. Fine. A, B, A, B. I know that distance from there to here is about 200 miles. So that's about 100 miles there. Kind of down here. Uh, I think it's a static object I need to put in. Up in here, then. Uh, if you go with the fire by then you don't have to force people to tank you if they find that too hard. You see, yeah, good idea. Keeps the options open for uh, all different ones of people. You know, yeah, I like that idea. That's pretty good. Put these on the farm. I don't think that's on a slope, I have to see. again. <clears throat> Don't know why but it keeps crashing every so often. I'm hoping when the new update comes out this will be a thing in the past. Send crash report. Alright let's restart.
The rug engine should be kept clear so that's what the Harrier uses to take off with a good load. Okay. I'll have to move as long as it's next to it, that should be alright then. Okay. Um let's see. Open. Looks like I didn't save it then. Alright, let's try that. Let's put, put them in again. Uh, where was it? Oh, down here enough to be. Yeah, let's try this area here. Right, remember to save it this time. British use a similar tactic with their Harriers and the Formers, where the fleet was 200 miles from land. They set up a far up on the East Island, and the Harrier base there was used for CAS. Harriers launched from a carrier only for recce or bombing raids. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. Let's put a tent in. Some personnel in there just for uh, let's go to that. Not sure, is it soldier?
Uh, have you got any plans of joining GR for the Iranian campaign? It would be like the coffee campaign, but more realistic, they said. Uh, no, I haven't got any plans on joining GR. Again. Um, nothing sprung to mind. The, uh, I've been kind of like, I've been enjoying just doing casual thing. I did join tour for a little while, um, flew Harry with T Cipher. Um, the kind of things that are getting a bit meal simmy, I find I was getting a bit of a headache with. So, um, I mean, obviously, I left GR back in May uh, last year we all getting a bit silly plus I was getting trolled and you know it all got a bit OTT for me which is fine if that's what they want to do but it's uh, I just like to get in flying mission have some fun with it and be done with it really. I don't I haven't got time to study and plan and learn communications and everything else. It, it's because of my um, conditions that I have it's difficult for me to do. I forget and get confused and too much information and my brain stops working so But I was watching um, Atomic and Auntie streams the other day when they were flying a GR practice thing, so, you know, it does sound quite heavy uh, these days on the procedures and comms and things, at least trying to. So there's the fart put in, that's a good distance away. Um, so down here I want to stick, I suppose about here I want to put um, the tower in as well, just off the coast there. Um, tower is making him excellent because I don't want him running into problems. Oh, um, Stick him there. Have you been flying with uh, GR then? Terror work. Number one. Let's see. We could make that into a bit of a carrier group, couldn't we? Just put a couple of extra two, three, four. Um, let's have two. Towers, kind of like that. It's hard to judge the distances. That's 4,000 feet, or that's 8,000, maybe like that. And then these ones we can change to. Um, what have we got here? Let's do a Perry class. Perry class. Like that. 
for aesthetics, if nothing else. And then we can add in some waypoints. To move that further. Right here. There have been some waypoints going up to there. doing 10 knots. That might be a good speed for this. Ah, uh, so I have memory retention problems also. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I started watching them through your streams. I've bought the Harry but I haven't played it yet as I suffer with speed pressure and quite hard to control. That's what I set up and physically fly it. Yeah, that's that's the thing, isn't it? You know, as soon as you got conditions and illnesses and things like that, was which quite a few of us have. Funnily enough, you know, um, whether it's back problems, whether it's mental health issues, whether it's physical issues and things like that, it puts restrictions on how far you can go with it. So, um, when you when you're in a group and they're push 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 with there's a limit on how far you can go with it, um, I find, you know, so, uh, yeah, it's, it, certain things are for some people, not for others, um, but yeah, I did leave them last May. Um, but they've been going on and on. I think Shifty left as well. So some come, some go, some stay, some dabble. Right, so that's the carrier in. Two of them, let's put some uh, Harriers on here. Oh, I've done it again. Right, let's put these to client. To client. To client. Plus, you know, if you're with a group that puts out videos in YouTube and stuff, you're open to being trolled and abused and made fun of and mocked, and there's a limit, you know. You have a kind of tolerance to it to some degree, but when, when people think your character is to be a complete moron, uh, there's a problem there, you know. He still talks about you in his streams. He says you're the best Harrier wingman he has ever flown with. <laughs> yeah, I've heard him say that. He's very kind, isn't he? he, he it's all true. <laughs> oh, that's really nice of him to say, you know. I mean, he's a great he's a great flight lead to have because he knows what he's doing. So, you know. I do watch his streams from time to time. Um... Very enjoyable, but yeah, he's very generous uh, in that sense. And Auntie started streaming again recently as well, and so I've watched a couple of hers. And oh, she's made me a mod on her stream. 
Um, she was watching me the other night flying the uh, 747. Which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I keep doing that. Client. Right. Well, I was watching Shifty play uh, Train Simulator World, and I thought, this looks interesting, I'll buy that, so I bought it myself. <laughs> and I did a stream the other day in the uh, with it. Um, of course, a troll came along, as they do on Twitch from time to time. So, and then he went on my Discord, so I had to delete it all off. Banned him, blocked him, reported him. Shame, really, but uh, I used to love watching him building his Harry campaign, but he stopped because he can't get the AI to do what he wants. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? AIs, they're updating AI at some point. Um, they keep they did an update to the AI to make it a bit more, but there is a limit on what you can make it do. It gets frustrating, I suppose. If you're if you're making these, he's making quite complex missions. So, whereas I'm trying to keep it simple but interesting and uh, a challenge at the same time. It's like the the mission I made the other day for the uh, we tried it out. Uh, and F-16s and things, and uh, yeah, it's quite tough because I put in quite a lot of toughy. So it needs multiple runs and multiple people to be successful at that, really. So I'm just trying to keep this so one person can fly it, or eight people can fly it. Um, they have a practice and have some fun. I will put in waypoints for these over the targets as well, just to make it a bit more. I don't know actually, I don't have to do I? You can just take off and go for the targets you find. Might be a bit better. Put Fog of War on. And then you get pinged and you can find what targets you want to go for. But maybe I need to put in some waypoints for the uh, Tarawa, for the Sukumi and for the Farp. Might be a good idea so people can find them. And I'll write that on the briefing as well. Alright, so we got Harriers at Sukumi and we got two groups on the carriers. I don't want to put air to air in this one. Although I could do, couldn't I? But then, if you're on your own and you've got some aircraft to deal with, that would be a pain in the neck, really, I think. Uh, you didn't understand the thing with trolls, you know, if you don't like what the streamer is streaming and don't watch or follow, it's simple, you don't have to be spiteful. No, I think they're doing it for more the, um, they like a reaction. And they're doing it more for the disruption and the reaction. Um, I, I don't have the time in life to, to be like that. I've got no inclination or motivation to be like that. And like you said, it's very true, isn't it? If you don't like the stream, then just don't watch. But um, don't be spiteful to someone just because you have an opinion. It's like I get um, I get them on YouTube. A couple of them that have, you know, called me an idiot and all the rest of it. And I think, you know, I'm 41 years old now. <laughs> I don't, you know... I don't really care. <laughs> it's just a case of I block them, I ban them, I report their chant, their chant, I report them, and uh, carry on, you know. Um, but the good thing is, you know, it's like someone calls you an idiot, but I'm the idiot with the joint honours degree, you know. So uh, how much of an idiot can I be? It's just some people I think are like to attack those that are disabled. So it's uh, 
pain in the neck. Um, you can put a nav waypoint or put them in the briefing. Maybe some people would like to input them some themselves. Yeah. Maybe the player might like to add his own JDAM waypoints. Yeah, exactly. So if I just put waypoints for so you can find the home base, um, that's kind of job done, really, I think. Because that's always nice when you can just put in a uh, waypoint that says, oh, you know, so one's the car your carrier, two's Sukumi, and three's the FARP. It's just a bit easier to find it rather than having to use F10. Yeah, I'm 49 British veteran and I can't be bothered with stupid or selfish. No, exactly. Exactly, you've been, been through too much in life and you get, reach a certain age and haven't got time for it. Yeah. Always seems to be the younger ones. Either they're trying to put you down to boost their own, you know, so people don't look at your channel and don't follow you and things. Um, based on rumour and all that silly stuff. Or they're just trying to be immature really so good luck to them you know the GR get a lot um, I've had some Shifty's had some uh, when he's been streaming one or two coming to the channel spamming in the in the chat you know it's not really a way to build a channel at all to make yourself you know but it can cause damage you know a lot of people talking crap behind your back but what can you do? Good to waypoint and the carrier on Takan or something. Yeah. So if I put... Um, so that's going to be waypoint nor, isn't it? So if we select these, add in a waypoint. Um, let's just bone a waypoint on here. And one down here. I could put it actually. Yeah, I'm wondering. A V A B Terror One. Um isn't there a mobile TACAN station you can put on here? Let's have a look. There. Or is that literally just a structure? Doesn't seem like there's a way to set it. So I wonder if there's that unit there. Not sure how good these are but that might be uh, that might work. Put a Takan on the fuck. Now uh, there'd be a lot of nasty mozzies at that fog by the river. We'll wake up with lots of bites in them. <laughs> yeah well we do supply uh, bug spray. <laughs> So can you set, I'm not sure if you can set that to a, uh, never seen it used, um, Takan part one. 
Uh, you couldn't sleep last night, so I was read a few pages about the Harrier. I did realise the AV-8B night attack was also installed with the APG-65 radar. Oh, really? Must be a certain version of it, then. Yeah, when we get in radar, then. <laughs> Is it near a pub? Yeah, there's plenty of pubs and uh, a nightclub as well, just down the road. Um, a couple of towns here. So you go and have some fun. Uh, but only some of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We just need one. It would be nice if they had... Um, you could choose certain items. Um, you know, like PMDG for FSX and for P3D. You can choose different um, systems in the aircraft depending on the airline you're flying. So maybe if these sort of things are options for some and not others, I wonder if one day they're going to add that ability we can choose certain system options depending on the version of that particular aircraft if it's applicable. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think, even though it's a TACAM beacon. It doesn't seem like you can actually set a frequency for it. Yeah, I'm not sure about this, how this might work. Got a frequency so you can, for radio, maybe. Come on, what it's got is set frequency one three one. That's a shame. Alright, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's go to the AB8 beasts. Yeah, I'll just put the, those hit points as waypoints. Oh. It'll help if I actually put it to a uh, edit, wouldn't it? Right, let's choose. Add. One. Two. Do the same for these ones. Some for these ones as well. Add one. Two. Save that. And the falcon as well, the fight was plotted on a paper map, and there was full radio silence entering and leaving it in case the enemy was listening. 
got Amy Fry for a few times and then we saw it. <laughs> oh, awesome. Space Egg quite. I suppose, you know, if you're in an aircraft flying about, they're quite difficult to see visually then. They fit in with the landscape a bit. It's amazing, isn't it? Right, we want to go to the tower now. Right, Takan. I'm going to write this down. So I can stick it in the briefing. Tower number one. Um, That. Uh, one x ray then, and that frequency is one two seven point five five zero. Frequency one, two, eight point five. Is it going to do it as a group? Give it as two x rays and see what happens. So, call that carrier group. So, number two is on 128, and number one is on 127.5. See if that works. Okay, group is two x ray on TACAN. But it's tucked in the valley, but the constant fog helped to hide it all, so the fog around the farm also helped to grow on the harriers. And the... Oh, yeah, okay. Like um, a visibility cloak, if you like. Makes sense. I'm going to put some weather in here based on um, the meta for the area. Because uh, um, Georgia is quite a windy, rainy, snowy... Uh, foggy type of place. The only problem in DCS is you put fog in, it starts flashing. So I'm not too sure if that's it. I've had it on the other bits. I will put this up on my server and try it out, I think. Go to Batumi Meta. Let's have a look at the forecast. Okay, this is the weather. 
Right, so at the moment, uh, as of half past nine, so let's make the time 9.30. Twenty twenty February and we're the eighth. So it's actually three degrees at the moment as of this morning. Okay, we've got thirteen knot winds. With gas up to 29 knots at the moment, so I'm not going to put 29 knot gas in there. Um, not sure how 13 knots would be a bit too much for the areas on the carrier, but it might be right. Um, so it's north northwest from the north northwest, so it's blowing down in that way. I'll just make those slightly. Different there. So if that's 27, 13 knots, 1600 feet, 27. Can you change? Can you change that on its own? No. So at 6,000 feet we go at 29 knots, and at 26,000 feet we go 32. Um, turbulence. There's going to be some in there. Now visibility is 10 kilometers or more. So that's 10,000 meters. Um, this there's thirteen hundred feet. There's clouds. So we want that to be 900 feet thickness, density 7, and it's actually they've got snow showers, so the weather, the weather there is atrocious isn't it? And they're on a 1017 HPA hectopascal, so HPA 2 inches mercury. One zero one seven convert. Uh, it's thirty point zero three. So that's kind of the weather in Georgia today, which sounds lovely. Yeah, I mean, Batumi's down here, and that's the weather forecast that was taken for Batumi. Uh, does DCS have proper weather for the year and month, then, for this map? No. It'll put in a, well, it'll put an approximation, I think. It'll just put some basics, like... But you've got to enter it yourself. And obviously... The problem with clouds is, some will see them, some won't, and they'll be here, but they won't be up here. So you can put in like a cyclones, like up to six in different areas to fly in between their circles of weather. Um, or you can use shifties which does that, he chooses different points on the map and you can set it to different weathers. So you can fly in and out and they're, if you've got two rings affecting each other they merge, but I haven't used that at all. be able to fly in it to test it yeah absolutely let me save that there you go so that's based on the real world meta for the area um, let's have a look at it uh, what we can do it might crash it might not um, I haven't filled out any of the bits there though but you can see that it's plus three degrees 0.9 meters per second on the turbulence.
That's my uh, head tracking starting. Let's have a look and uh, right. Um, I need to change these. Oh yeah, there you go, tarot. But I haven't changed those yet. Let's go to tarot one. Flight is that's the other problem of uh, Harriers on the carrier. You have to choose it a couple of times. a different hour. There we go. All right, let me turn this uh, back in off. All right, let me know if uh, DCS sound is a bit too uh, strong. But let's just do a quick start up. Let me take off and have a look. And see, look, there's the clouds. You can see that it's uh, they've got a bit of wind in there. Uh, where was I? Right. Let's go to uh, fuel pumps. Uh, don't need to worry about that. Shut the door. Some of these. Generator, so. generator. Coffin, coffin. That down, put this on. Failure. Quiet, failure. Generator, Hoping that you don't have to align. EHSD engine. Yeah, that's good. Right, let's put this on. I've got my head tracking in a different place, so I haven't really tried it out yet because I had to redo my uh, clip on my new headphones because the others died. So um, let's choose QFE at the ship. Let's try this TACAN out actually whilst we're here. With full flaps, no, I don't need it. I haven't got anything loaded on. Right, let's have a look at this weather. It should be it's windy, but it's not. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's turn the uh, parking brake off. See if we pick some stuff up on RWR as well. See if that's all working. I 
approach to veer off. Springfield, one, two. Clear to taxi to runway. Springfield, one, two. Clear to taxi to runway. So the clouds are quite low. There's your snow, look, we're under a cloud. There's your, which there are certain showers in about the area. The sun's quite low because of the time of year and the time of day, it's 9.30 in the morning. In. Oh, it's going to crash. There you go. For some reason, DCS every so often will crash. <clears throat> Send reporting. I had this problem before and then I sorted it out and now it seems to be happening again. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Yeah, there it goes. Wallop. Very strange. Right, let's start DCS again and get in. We'll have a look around. Hopefully, if it's not going to crash, if it's going to keep crashing, then I'll. <sighs> right, let's have a look. Uh, let's go to the logs. Um, users, me. Uh, let's go mission. Uh, where is it? So I want save games, DCS open beta, logs. Let's choose that one. That was caused by DCS.exe and it was an access violation, so memory leak. And that's a C, all the zeros and five at the end. So it might be something inherent to DCS at the moment. Which is a pain. Yeah, we need a we need a module for the Harrier for this boat, don't we? Maybe they do it after the supercarrier comes out. If it's successful, then they've got every reason to update it, haven't they? Um, one with a ski lift would be great, wouldn't it? Flight delayed, so we have to go to choose stop. They need to sort this out as well. Right, let's see if it doesn't crash this time and have a look. Hopefully it will behave itself. The HSD engine. Right, let's see if it behaves itself this time. Annoying. I 
Well, they were fine though. It was a cross wind on the boat outside the Harry's takeoff envelope. Not really. It, pe it peels off to the left. So what I think I might do is have a look at the wind direction, which is coming from the northwest across, because obviously the aircraft will want to put nose into the wind and have the carriers heading in that direction will probably will solve that. But um, even if it's a crosswind, they seem to it seems to be okay. Um, let's take that off. So you can how quick you can get this started. don't do all the uh, checks and everything else you're up and running real quick well, let's take off and have a look see that there we go Seems to be okay. thing is gears up flaps up oh it's gone off now now yeah there's the uh, so you know it's 13 knot winds isn't too bad Harrier can take it if you look at the um, float pole vector there it's slightly to the right but it's not over here Quite nice this time of day. We've got nice uh, 550 knots there. Obviously, we're empty. So it was uh, Takan on to enter. Is it 12 miles away? So it must be the other boat, and uh, but as long as you've got one tack out and going, you'll be able to find them again. Zoom out a bit. I don't like flying right like that. I like to have a bit of um, be able to see the sides a little bit. It, a free monitor setup would be great because um, you can kind of have. Uh, peripherals for landing and things like that. Here's waypoint one. See nice and snowy. Nice lighting. First thing in the morning, cold cold winter's morning in Georgia. A few showers. Let's go and have a look at this farm, see where that is. Placements like. Yeah, maybe there's an issue with the editor and it keeps crashing out. I don't know if it's going to crash out on flying the mission or whatever, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's very finicky. So, waypoint two is 48 miles away. Showers again under clouds. But I do like putting in um, based on what's happening in the area at the moment. That seems to be um, always comes out quite nice. 
And it makes landing on the boat more interesting. Because, you know, if you can do it in calm weather, then put weather in and it pushes you to uh, get a bit better with it. That looks nice. Sun glistening on the water there, early morning. A bit cold, so that you get better engine response because it's colder. Every so often, when you're going through showers. I did put the base at 1500 feet and we're at 1300 feet so they're quite you know, nice and low. But you know there's levels of clouds in Georgia at the moment so you get these clouds at 1500 feet and then 2500 feet roughly, it's, it's overcast actually. So you've got a choice, you can either have it like this or overcast. But I prefer this if you're going to have anything. We could make it overcast. Oh, only seventeen miles away. As nice as now you get these uh, rings around the waypoint. There you go, look. Right by the river. Might be the wrong farp to have down there, but you can see the placement change that to the proper one.
heavy. There you go, we're on. <laughs> Anyway, there's a the part. Now I've got six thousand fuel. Well, that's my nozzle anyway. Eighty two. Should be around 82. This way is a real pain to control. That's quite challenging in this wind. It's been a while since I've done this, so you're going to have to use rudder. That's in a 13 knot wind, obviously. Quite challenging. <clears throat> yeah, it's very challenging actually. <laughs> Let's move I definitely test the skills, get get those up a bit because of the wind. I mean, you really want to be facing into the wind when you do that. I was here sort of behind me. I was just making life a bit difficult for myself. You come from that direction across to this way. As you can see by the marker. And it's gone again. Right, let's get back into the mission editor. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. I'm quite happy with that. It's definitely uh, 
<clears throat> like a decent um, placement as well. So I have got a tendency sometimes to bung these in trees <laughs> or on a shelf. So that was down there. And the wind's coming across here. So if we change the uh, carriers to head into the wind a bit more, that'll make that you know a bit more a bit better. I wonder if it's how do we do that? Uh Try and get him to head in this direction. There we go. Maybe that'll be a bit better like that. Right. Let's put some more ground targets in. I think that'd be... Uh, I just want like um, quite a bit of... You know, we can spend some time doing it and have a really good practice with it. Let's go up to here. Close grouping. Make him excellent. face that way, two needs to face that way, three needs to face that way, four that way, Oops, that way. Making life hard for myself as for normal. Because that SA tens up, I'm covering this area. I don't need to put anything bigger here. 
just if, if someone takes that out it opens up these others I'm going to put just a couple of lower end SAM sights on there so you've got a few uh, airfields to choose from uh, to go after and uh, see what you can make of it and have some you know, a few hours of fun kind of destroying targets and practicing and going with the uh, J dams if you want and things like that so And for the practice, I could put in some SA2s. Come on. Let's do that. I've already got sixes and eights. wider range there. So eights and sixes quite small. See the tens like a massive thing. And then a two in there but just put some targets in there. Give me the uh, any parking numbers here. There you go. Right, let's put some aircraft in. Russia. Control, so they just sit there. Make twenty one. Say two. some K-50s in. KA-50 Quas Quas number one. I don't want them taking off or anything, just sit there as targets. Let's put some uh, something on the road. Yeah. 
keep forgetting to do that. That's right, so some aircraft in some of them. We've got some AAA. I'll just dot some of these about. Play and drive now. Uh, the only job is to make the pilot think, ouch, but not really, really to kill him. Yeah. Uh, I thought we were placing one or two uh, AAA guns in valleys, but on the reverse slope, so as the hurry flies up the valley, he is met by tracer fire. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So for this one, he's going, you're going to come this sort of way, aren't you? Just dot some about in certain areas. Maybe around this kind of. So as you get closer, there's some just slightly out of the area. Maybe because you never know what way people would come when they're trying. You know, they're practicing and stuff like that. Maybe a couple of lesser Sam sort of outside of the area just dotted about here and there. You've got to destroy the Sams to get into the near the fields without it being too too over the top. Oh, it's gone again. It's crashy. I wonder if it's to do with the uh, mission editor. There's a um, memory leak somewhere. Let's get back into it. Makes life difficult when uh, when it's doing this. Right, open Harrier. Yeah, no, I wonder, yeah, I think that's a good idea. So if you're taking off from over here, you're going to come out at it this way, aren't you? Go Russia, air defence, some Ural, 375s maybe. A 
me separate these out so I can see them better. These might all be in trees, that's the problem. A lot of trees in these areas, isn't there? Alright, let's get in close and see. Where's number one? Alright, let's move him into here.
Yeah, there's a few dotted about in valleys down there. Quite a nice little surprise, isn't it, without being too over the top. Never know, they might find them, might not, but there's something there. Is put a SA6 cub over here. to add some um, some of this stuff to those other ones I've just done. Uh, weapon free. Alarm state red. First prize, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that should do it, I think. So if you're flying up this way, you get pinged. There's some over here, big one up here, different one there. Some little uh, valley surprises there.
could really put a tanker in, shouldn't I? So there's an option to... Uh, Take off with empty tanks and tank if someone wanted, but uh, uh, could I ask you to put down another farp? This one would be for the player who wanted more of a landing challenge, plus this next farp in an opening within a forest. Tuck the helipad side in against the tree line and the strip where the harrier takes off from is away from the trees. Yeah. So kind of I mean something like this or here. Maybe down in here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go with part uh, number two. Do I choose it from static objects or do you, do you choose it from armed? It's to here, isn't it? Static objects. Make sure I've got the right one. Kind of like there. Fit there. Maybe there. Place where it's difficult to see the part has to really look for it. Yeah. I mean that's that. Oh there you go. Right there. See what that placement looks like in a minute. Um,
skill. I feel I should go away from the tree line, but the heavy pass will be close to the tree. Okay.
hit the boys. Uh, let's go and have a look at it, shall we? So I'm going to start the mission this way and see if it holds. Be interesting to see what that looks like, actually, from a uh, flying point of view. Yeah, you're kind of flying into the wind if you go from right to left as you were looking at it. Um, there's a bunker there. redo that. Ah, oh, morning Sabre, how you doing? Uh, yeah, building for the Harrier to make this um, either a one person, two, three, doesn't matter. But practice uh, for multiple weapons, which I thought would be a good idea. Generator, generator. Caution, caution. Flat failure, flat failure. So let's have a look at that fart to generator, see if it's. Uh, see what it's like. Caution. Armour pilot had a good idea there, so we're trying it out. I like how quick we can get this up and running. The uh, make sure my switch is in the right place. Don't worry about the lights, let's put that one on. Okay, there's one steering off, let's turn that down. Right, so it's waypoint one, it should be. Hopefully, DCS won't crash again, it's been crashing a, a flipping thing. Turn that that way. Turn that that way. Go and see if we can find this far and see what it looks like. This should be into the wind now.
<coughs> excuse me. Yes, yeah, so we've got the easy fart and the more difficult fart, and Sakumi and two carriers with Harriers on. So there's a bit of a choice. I've got to practice my J-dabs with the Harrier actually because I haven't tried those yet. Let me see if this fart is too in an awkward place or if it's alright but it's nice to see it from a flying point of view. Last ones have British Harrier plants located their farts in Germany during the Cold War. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Just tuck them out and tuck them away. Looks like it's right in the hills here. They would have about five set up in the way they chose to work for only one at a time. It's making it hard to take out the Harrier farm. Yeah, cool. I can understand why, obviously, but yeah. Bit of realism, nice, based on history. See that we're flying right at that wind's strong but not too strong. Never had them in open ground, always in those forest blocks. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I've read um, about the Harrier in the Gulf War, was it? That they, uh, they used to do like, say, could do five missions a day kind of thing. shelf a little bit but it's right tucked up into this little alcove here what do you think too tough <laughs> yeah that's true yeah, much more interesting flying the area Could be on flatter ground, I suppose.
you only put on a certain amount of um, you can do it with weapons on take off um, but you're limited to how much and uh, how much fuel to put on board see that's kind of the direction of the wind there heavy for this really but Thanks. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> Can it be sunk into the ground a little? I don't think so. I think it's uh, it just places it on top of the uh, scenery. So if maybe, well, I mean, you know, if you don't care about it being like that, then that's fine. It's kind of interesting place to land. You can find somewhere a bit flatter. if we can take off. The wind's sort of the way I'm facing by the looks of it. Oh, I need to sort this switch out. I'm often making note to do that. Alright, let's see if we can take off. I'm a bit heavy for this really. So I am... Um, I've got an idea. See if this works. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. There you go. Yeah, nice. So you can arm and refuel them. Chance would be uh, pilot my nose now. You know, it's just somewhere different, isn't it? Challenge would be can you take off using the strip like this? Yeah. So this bit here. 
Refueling complete. It doesn't need it if you're careful with your fuel and things like that. Rearming complete. Well, that bit there. So, can you just taxi off of here and get onto that then? Or is it too much of a drop? Can slowly. Well, let's try it. Offering. Yeah, I'll do. I'll show you in a minute. It's. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. We'll, we'll have a go at this. Come in at this right. Oh yeah, we're off. Full rudder. That looks very um, better said, doesn't it? <laughs> Running down the side. Which side? Oh, that bit there, right in front. Gotcha. Never tried this on a fart. So this bit along here. So we better go this end because the wind's coming from that way. You mean this bit here? Along here. left to right it's a little bit off because it's sunk into the ground that's it okay yeah it's on the strip is on the far this bit as long as you don't come off the end of it Gotta miss that bit there, so you just cut turn around here. What he is saying. You mean this bit? Just like the boat. Okay. We like the boat. Right, brakes on, take off, flaps down, those will steering off. Right, here we go. Never tried this before. I can go full power as well. Oh yeah, we're up. Oh, bit wonky. Get the flat. 
Kapsa, Keza, and we're off. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. That makes it more interesting. There you go, and we're away. Got a master caution for something. There you go. Yeah, that's doable, wouldn't it? I mean, I didn't have any weapons on then, but if you go full full throttle, it should be good. 50 nozzle, 55 nozzle, and you're up, and it, you know, really good. Yeah, if you're conservative with your weapon loadout and don't let like, arm out with 90 GBUs, you know, might want to add a small light where to start your short takeoff from. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, should we quickly have a look at hovering if uh, if rifles are still there? Let's start this up quick. You are here. Okay. Let me just get this started up. Caution. Caution. Flat failure, flat failure. Oh, generator, move. generator. I moved the uh, throttle there, didn't I? Flat failure, flat Use that failure. Cleaning switch. Generator, generator. Caution, okay. caution. Flat failure, flat failure. Generator, generator. Generator, generator. generator. arm in the way. Take some fuel out, just uh, make life a bit easier. Request refueling. <clears throat> Request rearming. Is there a way to add landing strip next to a far? I don't Copy. know. I, don't, I haven't seen anything where you can actually do that. But you could put the far next to a road, and you can use the road to take off, take off from. But you've got to be wary of the uh, now that there's um, light poles everywhere. You know, so you could take off from a road. Just put the edge of the farm next to the road, I guess. Right, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that, but um, blue screen of death. It seems to be when I'm using missions in the editor a lot. Yeah. Only when I'm using DCS. I've been flying in, uh, obviously, MSFS 2020 for like hours and hours. Not a problem. Other things not a problem, just DCS. But anyway, we get back in and have a look at um, hovering. Uh, if he's still here. If not, then we won't. Welcome to another Gumbo's Flying Circus live stream. 
Some say he is the pinnacle of modern virtual aviation flying. <laughs> but right, what cool. do they know? DCS, so sit back, relax, slurp a drink and grab okay, some popcorn. And only your popcorn. Here's the virtual pilot everyone loves. Off, it's Gumbo. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> Oh, such a pain in the nuisance that is. This is why streaming DCS at the moment is hit and miss. Uh, right, what I do is I start that up and then I shut it down and start it again. Let me see if uh, I'm going to head back onto the strip, not the other way around. Yeah, getting off the, um, there's quite a dip, isn't there, for the um, fart. Alright. Let's go to instant action this time. And, uh, let's see if there's, um, ready on the ramp. Let's see if this behaves itself. <clears throat> I'll uh, go through hovering a little bit just so you get a few things to know. Yeah, there is. I'll have a look in a minute. But I'll just take the weapons off and take some fuel out, that'll be good enough. Empty, let's take some fuel out just to make life easier. Request refueling. Fingers crossed. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. Make sure my flaps down. Might as well steer in. Let's get some lighting going. Makes it easier to see. Especially for the engine there. So you're just struggling with uh, the um, hovering. Or transitioning. Or a bit of both. Okay. It's one of those things that, you know, with aircraft in DCS is one day, you practice it, one day you just go, aha, I've got it now. It's a bit like tanking. You know, it's, it's like you struggle, 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 then one day it clicks. And because you've done it once, next time you go into DCS, you, re you kind of got muscle memory. So it's something you've got to keep practicing, at least, you know, do it once a week or so, or, you know, try and do it on each time you fly. Yeah, you, you did manage to get a vertical landing right just five minutes ago. Yeah, cool. It's what it, it, the more you practice it, the, the better you get, and then it becomes muscle memory. Refueling complete. And then you're off, you know. Uh, if you don't practice for a while, you do lose these skills. They're depreciating. It's a bit like in real flying. So, if you fly one aircraft, you can absolutely master it. If you fly five different ones, you'll be you'll be good at them, but not you know master of all. Unless you're completely obsessed to fly this ten hours a day every day, you know. All right, is that finished? Rearming complete. All right, there we go. Let's go to the runway. Okay. 
and I'm by no means like master of it. I haven't done it for a while, but I know the uh, from when I have done it, the way to look at it. Yeah, you can put the, as um, long as it's got a supply next to it. So if you had a road, I'm not sure if you need the farp or not. But in theory, I guess you could just put down the ammo and the um, fuel and, and see if that works. But I'm not sure if you have to have the farp. It's worth trying. Well, it's definitely worth trying. I haven't done it myself. There might be some mission builders out there that have tried it. You know, and trying to make like a road kind of deal. Right, so the, a good thing with um, let's go to here. Ah, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the channel. Okay, when you're hovering, you're basically turning the Harrier into a helicopter. Instead of a rotor, you've got thrust. Right? So if you think about the witch's hat is the nose of the aircraft and the vertical speed, uh, the, vo the yeah, this indicator, I can't remember the freaking name now. So your witch's hat is your forward and back, okay, as far as speed goes, and this is your up and down, you know. So this is your horizontal, this is your vertical. So like in a helicopter, you push the nose down, you're going to go forward. If you pull it back, you're going to go backwards. So that's that's how you keep your speed under control. And if you watch this, when you put the thrust in or out, it'll go up, meaning when it's off this line, you're climbing or descending. So you go from aircraft mode into helicopter mode. So essentially, let's put this... Uh, Putting that up also gives you a few extra percent on the RPM. You want around 82 or 83 percent nozzle for your hover stop uh, for vertical, and you want to have your flaps down to full. So we turn off the nose wheel steering. Okay, it's just a case of push. Let's get into the air. If you watch that speed, that indicator, it starts going up. There it's, see look, when I move the throttle it's moving. So I can control that with that. So I know that when I'm in a certain position I'm not going up anymore. And then left and right is obviously you're going to go side slipping. You can use a reference on the ground, like there, to see if you're going forwards or back or not. So you've got to try and keep that power adjusted. And so you're hovering. And the idea is you use your reference on the ground, as well as keeping it on the HUD, and just keep scanning to try and get that to hover so like you would a helicopter and once you put your brakes on you can just see your rate of descent pull up, pull up. looking at the ground object power, power. Pull just up, ignore pull up. what she's saying pull up, pull up. so you can get a nice gradual descent down power, power. And just check pull your up, um, where you're going and then power, knock off the power. power as soon as you're down. Yeah, basically, 82, 83. If you look at 82, it's there. So it doesn't need to be straight down, but 82, 83 seems to be the best setting for hovering. Uh, I always find 82 the best, but some people like 83. 
really close. But you can still you know, get some good control going with it. You just see it's quite stable with 82 or 83, and you're just making sh looking if you're drifting a bit, you're just making some tiny adjustments just to keep it in line with where you are. So you put the nose down a bit if you, but it's that kind of degree of control. If you look at the ground, it's moving very slowly now. And you're finding that sweet spot with the uh, nose, just to keep that speed under control. How do you mean? Yeah, so you go... A transition, yeah. So if you put the nozzle up, we do it both ways. Push the nose down. Take some of your nozzle out. Pull up, pull up. Power, you power. Know, you're going to climb. Keep that up. Watch your speed. Get the flaps up. Get the gear up. Take more nozzle out. Out, out. And you're away. Check gear, check gear. Pull up, pull up. Power, power. Out, out. Well, we treat the um, runway caution. like the carrier. Caution, caution. And there's a few caution. things to know about the carrier. Caution, caution. Right, let's caution. slow ourselves caution. down. So, for the carrier, you want to be caution. at a certain height caution. and a certain speed. Right, so if we you say that that part of the runway is the carrier, we go out here, we do a break, and it'd be easier for me to um, get it into my head. Like based on a case one. So you want to be about 800 feet. Right, we speed up to 350 knots. Right, so say that's the carrier, the runway, right? The beginning of the runway. Roll out, roll out. Caution, caution. Pull up, pull up. So you're roughly at 800, 350 knots, something like that. Or even a bit faster, whatever you want to do. But just imagine that's kind of 700, you're on speed. Right, you're going past the carrier. You're looking caution, down to caution. make sure that the, the carry is clear. Extend caution, maybe caution. five, ten seconds. Caution, caution. Down past the carrier. Caution, caution. Right. We then want to brake. Caution, caution. Take the power off. Caution, get the speed caution. down. Caution, we're going to put caution. the wheels down. We're going to take the nozzle to 50. For our downwind. Right, so we're at 167 knots. We're downwind the carrier, the carrier's just there. We're going to go down to about 600 feet. Flaps down now. Get that speed coming back. Looking at so you're starting to get set up way before you get anywhere near it. And you're slowing down all the time, transitioning down to the hover. We're putting a turn and we're looking for a descent. 60 nozzle. And you're looking for a descent down to 400 feet initially. See the speed keeps coming down. Let's keep an eye on where the carrier is. Right, 
Right, so you're now getting close to carrier. Then we're going to continue our descent down to 120 feet. You can pull the nose to up now and control with the uh, throttle for your descent. As you get close to the carrier, you go into hover stop. If I can get the right setting. Alright, say 83. Alright, you continue down and you're using your pitch to get that on a certain part of the carrier. And we're looking for 120 feet. There's 120. Alright, so you're part of the carrier, you're stopping, you're slowing. might be a bit wobbly but don't worry about it so that's roughly it then slide across like so use your rudder so when you're in line roughly I'm making a hash of this a bit but when you're in uh, in line with the carrier roughly in the middle you can then come straight down about that sort of rate Put your toes on, your wheels, your brakes on. And you come straight off with the power and up you go with the nozzle. But that's essentially the transition from moving to slowing down, slowing down, watching your um, height, getting in line and then landing. So you're using the pitch for forward and back to speed and your throttle for your uh, altitude so that's kind of how that's done yeah no problem at all good luck there's quite a lot of things going on but you start can't you get you after a while you start getting into that rhythm of you know watching your altitude your speed your positioning your throttle and your stick and you get it into your head you think I'm a helicopter I'm a helicopter and you know Sooner or later it all comes together, so uh, yeah, good luck with it, I hope you get on well, but yeah, that's how we do that. <clears throat> Alright, let's load up old uh, Pain in the Arse Mission Editor. Yeah, the Harry. This is why the Harry is challenging. It's good. As soon as you get used to it, boy, is it good fun. Right. So that far up, I think that'll be fine, won't it? You can take off from it, you can land on it, and it's challenging. And it, even if it's on a clip, a little bit of a thing, doesn't matter. You can still have some fun there with that. So yeah, we've got our targets in, we've got some sneakies, uh, we've got some static aircraft, we've got our Harriers in on the carrier with Tacans. Um, do we want a tanker? There's a, I suppose you could have a tanker, because if you take off from the far light, you can then go to the tanker, tank up and go, to, go on your mission. That might be a good idea. So let's go to aircraft, let's choose the tanker. Just use a K, uh, KC-130. We want him to be excellent. So you can just put the tanker going kind of this route. Right, and he's going to be at, what, 12,000? Should be a good number. And we want him to be at, um, it's a ground speed, isn't it? If we put 360, he should be around 280, 300 knots, something like that, I think. 
Yeah, if they land at night, they want a bit of strobe light on the strip, maybe. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll do that in a second. So let's just put this tanker in. It wouldn't take long. Activate Takan. Tanker. And we want him to be on uh, Yankee and 3. And we'll assign him a pilot to do that. <clears throat> so Tanker, he is Texaco. And uh, 3 Yankee. And he's 251.00. Okay, so now we need to add in some. Um, all right, let's save that because you know what will happen. Uh, let's add some waypoints. So if he goes between one and two, what we can then do is say, right, I'm a tanker. His task is refueling. I need a bit of background music. There you go. Yeah, so his task is refueling. And we want him to orbit in a racetrack at um, 360 knots, 12,000 feet. Or is he do is that oh, it looks like no it can't change that. Oh well we we stick with that. And then what I wanna do is Activate Takan, that's on frequency, you should be on anyway. So we change the waypoint to, and on that one, I want to switch waypoint back to one. So then, hopefully, here, get to there, he'd start his race track, get to two, switch to one. Back to two, switch to one, and round and round he goes. Yeah, I'll put it down for download if people want to use it. I'll stick it on, um, I'll put a link in my description below on Twitch once I've finished. So if anyone wants to do some Harrier practice or get a few people in for Harrier practice, I'll also go and run this on my server as well. So if you see it up and running in the evenings, and you want to come and have a go, feel free. We have a sandbox on there as well if people want to practice. So when that's up, have a look for it. Gumbers Flying Circus on the uh, multiplayer. It's open to the public and uh, it'd be great to have you on there. Even if you're the only one, we've got to start somewhere, haven't we? But we use it from time to time. Of course, other people have been using it and spending a few hours on there practicing with different aircraft. So. Yeah, feel free. Right, so, lighting. Let's have a look and see what we can find. I'm not sure where that would be. Is this going to crash again? Yeah, of course it is. <clears throat> there you go. Oh, no, we're all right. Or are we? Oh, no, yeah, we're all right. Now, I'm not sure where you would find that kind of stuff. Would it be on a ground vehicle?
if there's no lighting, it'll have to be a, a sign pad, um, windsock or something. I have no idea what it might be called. No, neither am I. Some things I know, but there's so much in there. You just... Maybe there's something in structures. There's our windsock, we can put one of them in. What do you reckon there? And the wind's going to be coming from that way. It's coming across here roughly. Yeah, there you go. We can have a, a windsock in there. And there's the strip. about anything to do with lighting now. Let's have a look in unarmed. Let's just put a truck down so we can see it. Because I know you've got the um, The ones that fit down the end of a runway or on a runway to um, uh, what's the word? Light up the runway. I wonder if it'd be an air defence unit. Nothing on there. Don't think there's much in the way of lighting, to be honest, in this yet. Some trains though, if you've got a railway line, different locomotives. No idea what that would be called either for the, uh, unless it's just something that's in, that you can't put in yourself. Yeah, it looks like it. Self objects. No, it doesn't seem to be anything. So, a wind socket will have to be. That would, that would help you on the edge so people don't run it over. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, put a load of. I think if you put too many in, you start losing performance. So it's. 
but I think that'll do. Just a windsock to say from here go. Well, people learn the hard way if not. Alright, so we got our tanker in. We need to add that to the briefing. Tanker. Texaco. KC-130. Three Yankee. 251.9 Yeah, it's looking alright now, isn't it? Uh, so I set up a mission in the editor next to a road and added the required vehicles. When asked for refuel rearm, the crew doesn't respond. How about um, if you go into here, try um, structures and look for the FARP ammo and uh, fuel have you tried those? I'm not sure if it'll work off a of FARP. I think you might have to have the FARP in there. But uh, yeah, try that because that's what I'm using for the FARP. Just the FARP ammo and the FARP fuel and command post. No, you don't need crew. If the structures are there and you can. Um, you know, it's like just the supplies for that area, but. Whether it'll work or not, I don't know about a fart. You might need to have the fart, but um, worth a try, I suppose. But you don't need soldiers or anything like that. I don't think. Right, is there anyone there think of anything else that would be good for here for a Harrier mission, or do you think we've covered it? Could put a couple of ships in if you want to go bomb a ship, but not really a Harrier thing, is it? Going for ships. So we've got stuff you can use rockets, you can use Mavericks, J Dams, sidearms, gun. You can refuel, you can go to a FARP, you've got two difficulty one, you can go, you've got two carriers and an airfield base. There's 12 Harriers in there. It's all in the editor, the weather's been done. Have anti-ship weapons, I suppose you could use Mavericks. With a Maverick killer ship. Or just bombs, Mark 80 trees or whatever it is. Doesn't really have specific weapons for it. I don't know if JDAM would do it. Never really go ship hunting in a Harrier. It's always SAMs and ground stuff for CAS, isn't it? So, and uh, try and kill some uh, SAM sites. That's basically it, I think. Alright, let's get out of here. I suppose I better take off and go and see if those things ping up on the RWR. No, I don't want multiplayer, do I? Alright, let's see if it's going to behave itself. Take off and fly towards those uh, units and see what happens. If they all start pinging up on the RWR, happy days. So 
Get on the tower again. Uh, that's such an annoying thing. I hope they sort that out. Right. So what I'm going to do is take off and go and fly towards these um, SAM sites and see if they uh, ping me. Just to make sure they're working okay. It's nice in the Harrier with this kind of style of lighting. I kind of like this now. Just put the flaps on. And uh, nice little steering needs to come off. Let's put some side arms on here for the fun of it. and a gun, see if we can get off the deck. Request rearming. Copy. So essentially what we need is for the uh, all those radars to start coming at us. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Well, we're moving around. If it loads, mind your ears, I'm going to go to external view. Should change that skin, really. It's a GR yeah, skin complete. I've still got on here. Never mind, that would be alright. I haven't taken them off yet. Um, right, let's go. Let's move my rudders. Yeah, as you can see from that there, the wind's coming this way now, so it's near enough in the direction of the wind. Let's take off the parking brake. in that general direction then see if I've set those up properly and they're working. Should be able to get there on this fuel, no problems.
to us. Right, there's one. That's that six. Which is up that way. Say we want to go for that six. So we start getting set up. See what happens. There's this amount of clouds actually, usually they're, um, they only cover a certain amount of area. Put this on a server and I think then that's when it sort of goes a bit haywire. Multiplayer is the problem I think for the clouds and things. So we've seen a target, we're in our Harrier. No other returns as yet, we're thinking, okay, this is cool. Let's see what happens as we get a bit closer. As long as he starts spiking us and trying to kill us, we're good. Okay, get ready for Robbie. Yeah, okay, mate. Thanks for coming by. It's been nice uh, having you here. Thanks for your help as well. Some great ideas. And uh, hopefully see you again at the next one. Uh, I will make this. I'll put a download link below the stream uh, when it's ready. So if you want to have it and use it, feel free. But, uh, take care and I'll see you again. Basically, I'm just testing out to make sure all this works. Let's try the TACAM for the uh, carrier. Giving us the bearing, but no, we might have to take bearing off. That's working. Yeah, tank is in and flying.
้ยมั้งWe do have a server that we use at GFC, uh, just join the Discord if you want to use that. Uh, it's also public so look for Gumbers Flying Circus in the multiplayer if, when it's up. If you want to come have a practice and just a fly about casual in any jet that you want. We also put up other maps like this one will go up at some point, this mission and uh, other bits that we've got. So. Uh, yeah, it's quite cool and relaxed, so it'd be great to have you. Links are all below. Right, let's uh, settle at this altitude. Big Bird Radar's looking at us, we've got the 6 up. Right, let's head towards the Big Bird and uh, see if he uh, starts causing us problems. So as well how far you've got to travel so you might need to take tanks. Look at that, that looks lovely. A bit hazy. Sun just coming up in the morning, nice and cold, winter's day. Based on the Met Alpha today at Batumi, so uh, similar to what you, what's actually in the real um, area at the moment. Which is nice.
through the valleys. You can fly over the top. Maybe you want to practice, which is good. Get some Harrier low level practicing. Another six over in that direction looking at us, or at least there. Should be in the range of that big bird. But his radar's working to some degree, so we'll see if he uh, starts look looking us up, starts tracking. See the other Sam that's there yet? Unless he's layered over the top. Might be.
as far as you can get close to him. See the clamshell now. Pings about three there.
just missed. recommend this for uh, a relaxing evening. <laughs> SA8 down. They're not seeing me now. Want some cover to get a bit closer. See a bit of turbulence. Come on, come on. Look how close I can get this. Expecting that fifteen to kill that. SA-15. Alright, that's interesting. Maybe I haven't set him up properly, I don't know. So I've wild weaseled quite a few of those missiles now. Stop. Go out, go out. 
leche One left. It's hard to see, isn't it? Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Well, loads of AAA. But anyway, got it. Cool, they're lethal. One thing there killed, one thing there killed. Didn't hit any of the big bird, but looks like we expended all his missiles. Quite possibly. And there's the SA 15 there. Dead. Yeah, that's quite cool. So you don't really want to go running in, unless you can avoid tons of AAA fire. Awesome, yeah, that's loads of fun. Oh dear. So anyway, that's another mission built that we can try out and go in the Harriers and have some fun with, which I will make available for download, should anyone want to uh, download it and use it and have a go with it. Uh, when that's ready, I'll stick the link um, on the Twitch uh, below in the description and find a little space for it and uh, so you can have a crack with that. So no, I'm going to be using that for practice and for other things uh, keep the skills up in the Harrier. But anyway, we took out an SA-15, an SA-8 and stopped the S uh, SA-10 from firing at us anymore. It's not bad for a single flight. And uh, that's another one in the bag. Took a few hours, but it was very enjoyable. And uh, Armour Pilot helped a lot, so thank you very much for that. It was great to have you. So anyway, uh, I'm going to end it there as that's... Uh, Quite a long stream today. Uh, started about half eight this morning. So 
So yeah, we built that mission. I'm really pleased with that. That's nice. Good for the Harrier. I'm going to do some other single play missions at some point. So uh, I'll live stream and I'll build those at some point. So anyway, thanks to everyone that's come to watch. Don't forget to follow if you haven't already. Very much appreciated. Make sure you've got your notifications turned on so you don't miss any. We also have a Discord channel. Link's down below. And on YouTube as well. So it'd be great to have you. So do nose you on over. But until next time... Take care of yourselves, guys. Enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy all your DCS flying. And hopefully see you again in the next one. ta -ra. Thank you for watching another Gumbo's Flying Circus live stream. Don't forget to join the Discord channel. Like, share, follow and subscribe for regular updates, chat, screenshots and more. Your kind support is always greatly appreciated. See you next time for another Gumbo's Flying Circus live stream.